Hi everyone, myself Dr. Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Today we will be learning about surgical instruments that are very very important for final prof examinations. We will be discussing this topic under subparts to reduce the length of video and keeping your concentration time in mind. Please watch this video till the last for better understanding. Let's get started. What do you mean by a surgical instrument? A surgical instrument is specifically designed device or apparatus, which is used to carry out specific tasks during a procedure. Most of the instruments are made up of stainless steel. During fabrication, there are three types of finishes. First one is mirror finish. In this type, instrument is highly polished, shining due to light reflection, causes glare, and it is highly resistant to corrosives. Second is satin or matte finish, it is dull finish, therefore causes less glare, hence it is most widely used, and most preferred one. Last is ebony finish, it completely eliminates the reflection and glare, since it is done by black chromium, therefore used in laser surgery. Now, whenever you get the instrument in the exam, then how will you define, what are the parts of the instruments? In this, the first thing is, there are two finger rings, then there is handle, also called as shank, which can be small, medium, large. On handle, there may be ratchets, or it may be without ratchets, ratchets is to hold any structure firmly. Then there is joint, which can be of three types, box joint, screw joint and spring action joint. Then there are blades, which may have serrations, that are transverse, longitudinal, debakey type, full length and half length. Then there is tip, on the tip, there may be jaw teeth or it may be without teeth. You have to describe the instrument in all these points. Now, let's start our discussion with instruments one by one. Firstly, let's discuss the instruments which are used for clamping and occluding any tubular structure or arteries in this section. We will learn about Mosquito Forceps, Kryles Forceps, Kelly Forceps, Rochester PN Forceps, Right Angle Artery Forceps, Doyen Intestinal Clamp, Carter Glassman Intestinal Clamp, Payer's Gastric Occlusion Clamp, Debecky Bulldog and Sotinsky Vena Cava Clamp. This is how Mosquito Forceps looks like. Please note the transverse serrations and small blade size. Halstead's forceps also popularly known as mosquito forceps. It is a small sized artery forceps, used to catch any small bleeding vessel. This instrument is sterilized by autoclaving technique. Whenever examiner handle this instrument to you, start describing, for example. In this instrument, there are two finger rings present, to hold the instrument. Small to medium sized shank with ratchets on it, to firmly grasp the tissues. Then here is box shaped joint is present, with small, transversely serrated blades, tip does not have toothed structure. Most likely, it is a mosquito forceps, also known as Halstead forceps, it is used to catch any small bleeding vessel. And it is sterilized by autoclaving. Now, Kryl's forceps. It is a medium sized artery forceps, it has full length transverse serrations on blades. It is used to catch medium sized bleeding vessels, this is also sterilized by autoclaving technique. Kelly forceps. It is exactly same as Kryl's forceps, except the fact that it has half length transverse serrations, while Kryl's has full length transverse serrations, rest all is same. Schnitt tonsil forceps. This is used to hold the tonsil, it is also used to stop the bleeding from a bleeder. Rochester PN forceps, also called as Mayo's forceps or Robert's forceps. It is a large sized, hemostatic, artery forceps, used to clamp larger vessels. Please note that, blades are longer and transversely serrated. Mixter forceps, also called as Lahey's forceps, and right angled artery forceps. Here, you can see, tip is bent at right angle. It is used to pass suture, in various surgical procedures, such as open cholecystectomy. This instrument is also sterilized by autoclaving technique. Now, before going onwards, to clamp, let's discuss very important differences between needle holder and artery forceps, it is very frequently asked in vivas. First difference is, needle holder is having crisscross serrations, while artery forceps have transverse serrations. Second, groove to hold the needle is present in needle holder, while it is absent in artery forceps. Third, needle holder are generally heavier than artery forceps. Now, let's discuss about various clamps. Doyen intestinal clamp, it is a non-crushing type of clamp, 
having longer blades, on which, there are full-length crisscross serrations. It is used to clamp the intestine, as the name itself suggests. Carter Glassman Intestinal Clamp, it is also a nine-crushing type of clamp. This clamp have classical debakey pattern serrations on their long blades. What do you understand by debakey pattern serrations? In debakey pattern serrations, on one blade of the instrument, there are longitudinal serrations, while on other blade, there are two parallel serrations present. Payer's Gastric Occlusion Clamp It is important to first identify the instruments, see, in this clamp, there is no finger rings present. It is used to crush the diseased part of gut during resection and astemosis. Debakey Bulldog It is a vascular clamp used to stop the blood to a particular organ of interest. So, that less vascular field is obtained and chances of blood loss can be minimized, for example in coronary surgeries. Lastly, Sultinsky Vena Cava Clamp Note the particular shape of the blade and crisscross serrations. It is used for partial or total clamping of a vessel, generally vena cava. It is highly versatile cardiac clamp. Thanks for watching. How was the video? Do let me know in comment section. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates. Have a great day.